Howdy everyone, Inky's the name, and this is a quick setup tutorial for my recently released VTubing app, Avatune. <laughs> uh, let's get right into it. First, you're going to need some frames for your avatar, uh, depending on how many states you're aiming for. Avatune lets you have up to nine emotive states, and each state requires three frames. Uh, first, first one with its mouth closed, uh, second one open midway for low volume speech, and third one fully open for high volume speech. So just just so it looks like it's uh, talking. If you got those files ready, let's get let's get to the next bit. Uh, you're gonna select the state you wish to edit. For this one, I'm gonna be using state A for this ex uh, for this tutorial. Uh, once you're in the frame edit window, uh, click on one of th click on the first frame. Uh, go to the folder that contains your uh, PNG files for your avatar. Uh, select your first frame. You're going to be choosing the idle for this one. And then you're going to do the same with the others. Second for the second one and third one for the third one. And there you go. As you can see, my avatar now appears to talk. Uh, just in case, I'm going to give it a name to make it a little bit easier. Now, do the same with the rest of the states. Once you have all your states set up, you can uh, make your avatar switch these states by using the numpad keys 1 through 9. Like so. Like so. Uh, next thing you're going to do is uh, close the states bar and open your settings tab. Here you can change uh, different parameters for your avatar. On the frame switching settings, you can uh, you can change the volume levels that change the avatar's frame. The first one uh, goes for the low volume frame, meaning that uh, if it's lower, means less volume is needed to get to the first frame, or higher, then uh, you're gonna need uh, higher volume to get to the next frame. And I'm just gonna do it for this one, just for consistency's sake. And uh, the next one, the second one is for the second frame. So if it goes lower, the second frame will already appear. If it goes higher, then uh, you need to speak a little louder so that the uh, the second frame uh, appears. Next slide is for the avatar speech balancing. This changes how much your avatar stretches when talking. Uh, you know, if it's higher, uh, your avatar will well, stretch higher when talking. Or if you have uh, an avatar that doesn't, that's not tuny or you don't want it to bounce you can just put this zero and it'll just be static i'm just gonna put it like this for this example uh the next set of settings are for transitions on this one you can change how much uh how much uh how much time will it uh will it take before it moves to the next state so like if we were to change it now you see that it delays a little bit See that it kind of bounces a little bit before it transitions to the next state. And if we want to go immediately, you can see that now it's just a tiny little bounce. That goes to the next transition. If you want to make a more instant transition, uh, I don't think that'd be possible, but this is the closest you'll have to an instant transition. Uh, <clears throat> uh, the, next, the next slider, the frame squish slider, uh, you can, uh, it, uh, it changes how, uh, how much the, uh, how much the, uh, the transition frame will, uh, squish, like, it will flatten a bit, because, you know, uh, when you press on the transition, you notice that the frame squishes a little bit when it transitions. The higher the value, the, the more it'll squish, 
kind of gives this sort of bouncy feeling. <laughs> Sorry about that. If you keep it all the way low, there is no bounce. See? It's the closest thing you'll have to an immediate uh, transition or an instant transition. This next one is uh, the custom transition frame. This one you can uh, you can select a a transition frame if you want uh, to give it some kind of natural change, I guess. <clears throat> You're just gonna all you have to do is just click on it, look for your transition frame, and now you have like a sort of frame in between just like that finally you have the background color this is mostly for chroma key use so uh, keep that in mind uh, it's it's really good for OBS this is mostly for OBS or like really any any other um, uh, video capture or video editing application that uses uh, chroma key <laughs> You can just change this if your character happens to be green. You can set the chroma key. I mean, you can set the background color to blue or red. Just so you can chroma key another color that's not your character. <laughs> Once you have all your settings uh, set and ready, just save your avatar in the file. Like so. Uh, let's just name it. Uh, I guess for this one we'll just call it example and boom your avatar is ready and now all you have to do is uh, press uh, numpad 0 turn on your uh, chroma key and voila now you have your avatar ready for use on OBS or whatever other software you're, you, uh, you use for streaming or editing. Anyway, uh, that's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and using Avatoon. I would like to also thank uh, my patrons right here, both past and present. And that's about it. Have a good night and have fun.